have to wait until later this year for Ty Cobb, but White Man Can't Jump is available on video, and you can slug it out with Bull Durham later tonight on 2. And finally, from creation to consumption, cinema going today is not the grandiose experience it once was. Gone are the sumptuous Rialtos, Regals, and Ritzies, either demolished or turned into bingo halls. In the small town of Biddulph, there are no cinemas left at all. But thanks to an intrepid band of movie fanatics, its residents can still enjoy the odd blockbuster. <laughs> Reels on Wheels is a voluntary organisation that goes to the parks that other cinemas cannot reach. We uh, travel around the rural areas and towns which have years ago lost the cinemas and we go to provide big screen film entertainment. I was one of the people who actually started it. I thought, why pay all that bus fare to go to a city centre cinema? Why couldn't we do something ourselves? We operate within Staffordshire and South Cheshire and occasionally do cross over the border into Derbyshire. Well, tonight we're off to Middle Town Hall and we're going to see Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park. People are kind enough to come and watch our shows, so we want to put on the best show possible. We want to create the atmosphere of a mini cinema. So as soon as you walk through that door, they're actually in a proper cinema. There's Russell. Russell is one of these people that has to go to the cinema every week. So if there's 12 films on in a week, uh, he'll go and see them all. So of course, when Russell started coming to our shows, uh, we collared him. Stuart was a pupil at Cheed Lye School, which was one of the venues that we used to show films at. And he came along and said, can I help you at all? So over the years, we've had him selling the popcorn and putting the posters up, and now he's moved on to actually projecting the film. The projectors, to quote the, uh, the manual, are as used by the Chinese army. Unfortunately, we haven't got stereo on this model. The, the later models have actually got stereo on, so we're saving the money for a stereo model. We, we like to give the real cinema atmosphere, so we import a little set of footlights, so that when the, all the audience walk in, there's a nice glow of red on the curtains. <laughs> popcorn, I mean, you can't go to the pictures without popcorn, so we go to the trouble of bringing the popcorn in. Someone's pinched the dino poster. These are old cinema tickets. We uh, go to old cinemas when, when they close down, we try to get some of the equipment. That's two and six. It's a long, long time ago. I've seen it four times. I've seen it one. I've seen it ten. How's it going? Oops. Have you got it? Yes. Oh, great, great. Start. Down we go. Down we go. Panic over. Go. The sort of programmes that we show are family fair. We find out that if we put a film on like The Bodyguard, that people don't come. Hey, it's your change, you forget it, your change. And I think that adults actually do want comfort of a proper cinema, but the families don't mind bringing the kids to see a film because it's convenient. <laughs> Unlike the cinema, they all know each other, so you actually do talk to the person in the next seat, which makes it a very friendly atmosphere. Please. Now, the children who've come without adults, we'd like to remind you that we want you to enjoy the film. So, actually talking and making a noise while it's on will stop others enjoying it. So, please be quiet. If anybody can't be quiet for two hours, can they leave now?
In Film 94 tomorrow night on BBC One, Barry Norman reviews In the Name of the Father, and that begins at ten past eleven. The day Citroen have discovered a gap in the market, an estate car that's almost as compact as the acclaimed ZX hatchback, but with an enormous load area of up to 55 cubic feet. Perfect for when you're expecting the patter of tiny feet. The Citroen ZX Estate, from £10,355. Discover what Citroen can do for you. An easy-to-follow advertisement for your easy-to-use Delta card. Some people are confused about the difference between a check and a Delta card. No need. Like a check, Delta comes out of your current account and you get a receipt for your records. It's just far, far faster to use. So, Delta has all of the good bits of a check, but none of the bad bits. Visa's Delta to checks.